strictly Pavlov, right out of Pavlov. Um, you know, the bell rings, dog starts salivating. Okay, it's not under conscious control. And clicker training works really, really well for this. In fact, I am a clicker convert. Okay, it's kind of like, I feel like AA up here. Oh, my name is Louise Sabille and I'm a clicker convert. <laughs> <laughs> but let me tell you why. Um, it was, what year did I go? 2001, I went to chicken camp and I learned um, clicker training techniques on chickens, which are great models because they don't care what you're doing, they don't care what you're saying. All they care is, oh, here's the click, I get the food. Okay. So desensitization is gradually exposing the animal to whatever it is that, has tri that triggers that unwanted behavior. Okay. Could be that guy in the hoodie sweatshirt, kind of walking about. Okay. Could be another dog, could be a little kid running around with a clicker. <laughs> Probably not that. But, um, but those, that counter conditioning then is done gradually in the presence of, um, of that trigger. So, okay. So the use of food. This is really important. Um, food is a good motivator because it's unambiguous. Okay? If they eat, they like it. Okay. So the act of eating is a primary reinforcer. Um, people talk about praise and petting and whatnot, but those are learned things. The, the animal has to learn that good dog means, oh, wow, okay, this is really cool. SSRIs, these are selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors. And so what they do is um, actually, well, they increase the amount of serotonin in that, um, in that synaptic space. So you're just getting more serotonin, which is good. Serotonin's nice. And so there's a lot of things that do this. The SSRIs are very, very specific for that. And so there's really very few side effects. Um, common ones, fluoxetine, which is the Prozac. That's what Reconcile is. And Reconcile has been approved for use in dogs with a behavior modification program in place. Um, but also I've used paroxetine and sertraline. Um, I really, really like these. Very, very few side effects. Um, sometimes... I have had very few clients that have reported major side effects. These are the ones, the only ones. So I really like the SSRIs. Um, I like them so much that um, I named my dog Paxil. <laughs> She's my antidepressant. <laughs> and she works very well. <laughs> she gets paid well too. So the SSRIs are great. My first choice. Um, ever since the um, fluoxetine became available as a generic and the price came down, ooh, boy, that, to me that changed my world. So, any questions? As far as the ear gels go, mm -hmm. as far as the ear gels go, yes. do all of them work that way? Our compounding pharmacy said they can make them all into ear gels, but they said some of the molecule sizes means they don't work as well, no research, etc. Yeah. The only one I've heard research on is the amitriptyline, okay? But that's the only one I was interested in, too. <laughs> so, um, so I'm not aware. I'm sure it goes medication by medication. I'm sure that each one functions differently and each one is absorbed differently. So um, if there's one that you're interested in, I, I don't know that I would necessarily um, look to the pharmacy for that information. I would probably look somewhere else for someone who has actually done some studies. Um, because I've, I've talked to pharmacists and say, oh yeah, we can make anything into an ear gel. But it doesn't mean that it's going to be effective. Those dogs that have the paradox 